I find your story particularly interesting because you were 17, I believe, when... Uh, uh, when we started, there were six months of auditions. Uh, I, I had seen a production when I was still in high school and under scholarship, because my parents, I was a Mexican from Temple City, uh, and went to Rosemead High School, and I, I went when I was 13 to Eugene Loring's American School of Dance. It completely <coughs> transformed me. So I studied and I studied and I studied and I studied and I saw a production uh, of West Side at the uh, Pasadena Playhouse. I had never seen anything like that. I didn't understand it. I just knew that it was so real. And I went back to Mr. Loring and I said, you've got they're auditioning, I read about it, you've got to get me there. And he said, well, you know, I, I didn't belong to any union they were having. They had six months of auditions, and Jerry went everywhere in the world that had ever done a production of West Side. And so he called his agent, who called Stallmaster Lister. Somehow, I don't know where, I got into some audition. And people were lined up outside of the sound stage. And Jerry, uh, this went on, you had a ballet combination, intense. If you pass that, then Tommy Abbott and Jeffrey, uh, Howard Jeffries, his assistants, would teach you a combination. Maybe show it to you twice. And I was small, ethnic, so I always had to fight for center stage. Otherwise, I'd get lost. So you, it was this way for six months. Then I did three screen tests and I thought, well, maybe there's a chance. And after about six months and they were already casting people, I just said I gotta go home and see my mom and just get a little family love. And I got there, it was a Friday, and uh, the phone rang and I knew this was the call. <laughs> I knew it and I was scared and I told my mom, you gotta answer this. She answered it and she was very, uh-huh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, okay, yes. And then, okay, thank you. And she hung up, and by now I'm like, what did they say? And th she said, well, they said that you're to be at Monday morning at 10 o'clock, Sam Golden Studios, and congratulations. <laughs> I was crazy. I jumped up. I know my whole block must have heard me screaming and yelling and great. This is the first thing that had ever happened to anybody in my family. And then the unthinkable happened. I fell to my knees with a horrible abdominal pain. I didn't know where it came from. My mother somehow, I don't even remember, she, was, she managed to get me into the back seat of the car. I said, where are we going? And she said, to the hospital. That was a Friday. They said I had gotten there just in time before my appendix were gonna burst. <laughs> they operated, sent me home Saturday, and then Sunday, and my mom called Howard and them and said, you know, Maria had to have this operation. I didn't know this until Howard called Sunday, and Jerry needed to know if I needed to be replaced. And I begged my mother, begged her, no, and I cried, no, no, I will be there. And she says, Maria, you can't, you're barely able to walk. I will be there, I will be there. So she said, okay, I'll have her there at 10 o'clock. And that next morning, that Monday morning, she put that horrible white adhesive tape that was, that was so, I mean, we're talking 50 years ago, uh, and it just, she just wrapped me in it, and I, took my dance bag, my point shoes, my character shoes, my jazz shoes, and a black sweater that made me, it was my Linus blanket. And I said, okay, put that in there. And she dropped me off at Sam Golden, and I had to make sure I didn't want anybody to know. I didn't know anybody, you know, really that closely, and all these people seemed to belong. I mean, all the New York dancers, I remember seeing Russ, he was so confident, and all these dancers, we took a ballet class, and I thought, you know, that's so-and-so, her point work isn't all that great, <laughs> and I can do this, and her extension isn't all that great, and okay, we can, this is all right. 
So anyway, we, we started rehearsing and doing, you know, ballet work and whatever, and I could just feel everything. And you just have to, dancers, you just had to get into another zone. And I managed to do that. I just left and danced. And then Jerry came onto the set, and something happened. I thought everybody was dancing full out. They weren't. And I saw all of a sudden the, the leaps were bigger, and the jetés were bigger, and the splits were bigger. And I'm thinking, and Jerry was looking, trying to find who's going to be the weak one. Who's going to, and I said, it's not going to be me. I can tell you now, it's not all the time that I got to get here. And we danced, and we danced, and we danced. And I did over, just did it over and over and over. I don't even remember. I was just in another atmosphere. And then I noticed that there was blood on the floor. And I thought, oh my God, did anybody see that? I grabbed my black sweater. I wrapped it around me. And Howard came to me very quietly. And his, he had this great uh, droll about he talked. He said, Maria, he said, you need to go see the doctor. And I said, I'll do it on my lunch hour, not now, because I don't want to miss anything that Mr. Robbins is going to say. So got through it. Yes, I went to the med, uh, medical doctor. And he said, yes, you're going to have to have new stitches. My mother picked me home, took me home. And she said, we got to get it done. And I said, Mama, I got through it. Through the grace of God, he honored me. I had victory. And that's what doing this movie was. This, I, I graduated in three years instead of four so that I could get on with my career. My parents didn't have money, so I had to apply for a scholarship. So it was doable. And that first day was the beginning of a whole new journey. And it was, I got through it. And I got strapped, and yes, once again, and once again, and once again. And Westside became my family, more than even my own immediate family. And we're still together. We've been together through life, death, birth, divorce, drugs, everything. <laughs> and we are still here. And I, for me, the victory of doing Westside is if you have the desire, and we call it ganas in Spanish, if you have the ganas and the will, you can do anything. It doesn't matter your color, your size, your race. If you have a will, then you just give it to God and say, do it, I'll do it. I can do this. I can do this. And it was great.